let's talk about the seven day clock feature. Seven day clock feature is just like it sounds. Inside the machine there is a uh, clock that you can use to automatically enable and disable the heaters on the machine as well as uh, automatically enter and exit standby. So if this light is on that means that your clock is enabled. To disable your clock you simply press the button to turn it off. The parameters for the clock are under your parameters menu. Parameter 50 tells you that today is Friday. Well today is not Friday. Today is Monday. Monday is going to be 1. Change it simply with this up and down arrow. Monday is 1, Tuesday 2, and so on. All right. Uh, next one is going to be your time in military time. Since it's 4.02 in the morning, um, it is actually 11, I'm sorry, 12.58 uh, p.m. So we're going to put in 12.58. All right, now we have set the uh, time. Now this is going to be the schedule one on time. So this is set right now to turn on automatically at 6 a.m. If you would like to change it, maybe you don't get in until 7. I'm just going to do like that. All right, now this is going to automatically on schedule one turn on automatically at 6 a.m. This is the automatic off time, 5 p.m. We like that. I'm going to leave it. Um, this is the automatic enter standby. Well, if everyone goes to lunch at noon and then we'll say that they uh, are going to be back from what lunch at one we're going to set it a little bit earlier that way it is back up to temperature when they come back you can also do that for a shift a downtime shift or something you have a total of uh, three potential schedules so if you run different schedules on different days you can program that um, schedule one is from parameters 55 to 58 uh, schedule two is parameters 60 to uh, 63 and schedule three is parameters uh, let's see 65 through 68 um, and then uh, you have your day clock schedule so this is monday uh, begins at 71 Monday right now is set to schedule zero. Basically, the clock does not work on Mondays. If you would like to follow the schedule that we just set up, you'll change it to schedule one. If you have additional schedules in there, then it would be schedules two or three. Or if you're not running that day, it would be zero. So we're gonna set it to schedule one. Um, now we are on Tuesday. Also going to be schedule one. Wednesday. Oh. Let's see, let's go back to 72. All right, 72, we'll go to 73. We want that to be schedule one. That's gonna be Wednesday, this is Thursday. Schedule one. Friday, schedule one. Saturday off, Sunday off. Okay, so now, Let's go back to the tank. So right now, without the clock light on, it'll operate just like it does normally. If we turn the clock on, then today, being Monday, at 5 o'clock, it will automatically turn the heaters off. So if you leave early and you wanted to turn the heaters off automatically, or you come in at, uh, let's say, 5 o'clock in the morning, um, instead of using the lower on-off switch, uh, you just will hit the heaters button. That turns the heaters off and also the pump. Um, and then you can turn the heaters on manually there. So at the end of the day, you finish your shift early, you leave the clock on, and that way tomorrow morning um, it'll be on when you come in. Um, and then off automatically on Saturday and Sunday unless you have them set up uh, to um, run on a schedule for those days.